Let's see how close this guy will let me get to him. Let me recording him. Hey guy, what's up? What are you doing? Yeah, come and jump on the GoPro probably. Looks like he wants to come and grab it. <laughs> Anyways, check this guy out. He's just chilling at the park. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna do a park hunt here. What you doing? Hey, hey guy, what you doing? Well, let's give this one a dig and see what we got. It's coming in at 26. Maybe six inches down. I think it's just gonna be uh, probably a copper penny. Okay. Either a copper penny or a dime, but there it is. Clad dime about six inches. It's a good way to start. That's my first dig right there. Target. a quarter fresh drop let's see yeah should be right on the top there it is just popped right out okay just a quarter clad quarter fresh drop all right got another target here it's coming in the 30 range just let you hear it for a little bit. Sounds like there's multiple targets, but it could just be a screw cap. Sometimes they come in a little, a little crazy, but I'm thinking this could be a quarter, maybe a quarter on edge or something. Yeah. So just clad quarter. More laundry money. Take it. <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw that in there. Let me rescan this here because it did sound like there were multiple targets. It's probably like a coin spill right here. And sometimes the screw caps, they come in like that too though. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is a dime. Okay. Okay, kind of like this signal here. It's coming in uh, right around a 25. Turn up the volume. That one's coming in all over the place. But. When they're usually like that, I'll just dig them up. I can kick it in different tones, try all kinds of different settings, but... This one had a little bit of depth to it. This is an older part, so... But it's tart. 
hard digging right here. Big old rock right there, of course. Yeah, this is not easy to dig through. Okay, there's the coin. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. Looks like I scratched it too. It's a weight penny. Let's see if I can get some better light. But yeah. It's a wheat penny right there. And I did hit it accidentally. This dirt's hard to dig through. But it is a uh, 19. 1944 wheat penny. You can see where I scratched it. It's just this dirt. This dirt is kind of hard to dig through, so I have to be a little bit more careful. But 1944 wheat penny. So I just want to show you that they are here at this old park. Here's my plug right here, where I just dug that wheat penny. Now listen to all the trash that's around it. Get a nickel signal here. Strong nickel signal here or pull tab. Ten iron. Let me shift it ninety degrees. So that's amazing that that wheat penny high tone with all this other stuff around it. Get this one too. Coming in as a twenty-five. Surface fine. Sounds like it's right there. I'd rather dig these all day than those deep, deep signals. But that wouldn't be any fun. Just digging all clad. I can go to just a dry sand at the beach, do that all day. I'm looking for older coins. So yeah, that was just a clad nine. Well, let's get this one too. Looks like a quarter right on the top. I think I can pop it right out here. Yeah, there it is. Quarter. Let's double check. Another signal right next to it. And look at that. Another quarter there. Two quarters. Another signal right next to it. Another quarter right there so three quarters so far okay three quarters in that one spot right there take it all right let's get this one Coming as a 29. Probably another clad quarter. Yep, there it is. Right there. Here's one of those deeper signals. It's a 2021. It's reading like it's maxed out. Another 
unless it's a smaller target. Right there. I'll turn this back on when I find it. It's, I'll, when I'm close to pinpointing, it's a deep one. Yeah, I'm getting a hit down in the hole. Took a little bit to get this dug out. It's not easy digging right here. This is a deep target. I'm already nine inches deep. This has got to be a coin. Can I pop it? Okay, I moved it, I think. Wherever it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, so, uh... This is a token. This is older too. Uh, I'll have to show this one to wrap up. Yeah, it says. Real money, East LA. I can't make out the rest, but it almost honestly, it looks like silver to me. <laughs> it says dime on it. Uncle Sam something, I don't know. I'll show that in a wrap up. That looks to be silver, but look at how thin that is. And that was down, I popped it right down there. So I said eight and nine, that was 10 inches deep. That came in clear too. Okay, I'm happy with that one. Okay. I got a solid 25 and it's... Let's give this one a dig, solid 25. Okay, I eventually found it. It's uh, off to the side a little bit here. so much trash around here it's hard to there it is okay just popped it out yeah just a copper penny okay this is one of those signals i have to dig uh got, got a high tone here turn up the volume a little bit High tone here, and then there's a big old. I don't know if you can hear the iron or not. High tone, iron. Then there's another high tone back here. So I'm gonna try and eliminate this one here first. See, so when I turn it, there's a low tone. So, yeah, you scratching your head on this all day if you have a good machine, but I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'll turn it back on once I get close to it, because it might take me a little while to dig. Okay.
Hold on for a second. Okay, I'm getting a hit right here. I didn't take it out yet. It wasn't that deep, but it was around a lot of trash. So, I mean, just for myself, I'm just curious what it is. Of course, there's a big tree root right there. Let's see what we can find here. Yeah, there's just trash everywhere. Everywhere I lay my pinpointer once I hit on something. Weird. it up well okay and the battery's going down in the pinpointer or what's going Okay, whatever it is, I popped it between. It was between two tree roots. Okay, it's a coin. That's a wheat penny. Okay, I'm glad I got that on recording. It's a wheat penny, 1959. Like I said, there was iron here. There's another high tone back here. There was a piece of, uh, I think, a pull tab over here. And between all that, there was this wheat penny right there. So I'm going to dig this signal up next. The uh, 1959. Just made it on the cutoff. <laughs> Take my hat off and kind of zoom in on that a little bit. Oops. I'll show it in the wrap up. I just dug that wheat penny from right here. That's my plug. Now just listen to it when I scan. I'll turn the volume all the way up so you can hear this. There's that pull tab signal I was talking about. Iron. Another low tone. piece of trash and here's that, that sweet high tone I was talking about and again my plug is right here so could be a silver or it could be another wee penny it maxes out at 24 I saw a 25 in there, so I'll turn it back on when I find it. Okay, I'm getting a hit. Right. Right here. Of course, there's a tree branch right here. And how these coins get out of these tree branches. It's so funny. How they get under there. get into it. Let's see what it is here. Try to get behind it a little bit. But it could be another wheat penny. At this park I've dug silver coins and there was a nail right on top of it didn't sound the greatest, but the when I had the CTX, it did high tone a little bit. What is that? Okay, that's probably why it sounded weird. It's a clipped coin. Uh, Memorial penny. So I got hit with a lawnmower or something. Okay. Just a uh, recap. Wheat penny right here. That clipped coin right here. And I'm just going to show you all the trash around it.
iron right there, low tone, and then when I turn, so yeah, that's pretty good that the machine can pick those two uh, good targets up out of all that trash. Right, let's get this quarter. I gotta wash uh, some laundry, so we're gonna need this quarter right here. I think I saw it, yeah. There it is, clad quarter, right on top. Come another quarter. Another one, clack quarter. Let's just make sure there's no more around here. <laughs> okay, on to the next one. All right, this is signals coming in pretty good. In a high tone. There's some trash over here, so. Give this one a dig. Sounds good. <sighs> it could just be clad or memorial penny, but. Let's just dig it up and see what it is. Had the tone. Oh, okay. So I just popped that from here. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, there's two, again, two coins on there. It's a dime signal. Look that right there. Could it be a coin spill? I mean, I was hearing iron also. Let's see, see if I can get that All right, so we had we had the dime and a nail, same hole. All right, here's a nice one. I got two targets, so nice, deep, high tone. Right here, okay, and then there's a pull tab right here. Pull tab, high tone. So almost the high tone and the low tone are within the swing right here. But if I just look on my coil back, try to find pinpoint with the front. Sounds a lot better. Give this one a dig. Let's see what it is here. Ah. 
off to the side a little bit. Okay, there's a coin just popped out. Oh, I thought that was a wheat penny. <laughs> All right, I like this signal. It's coming in 22, 23. It's about six inches deep. Doesn't sound too deep. Oh, this ground. It's almost like torture. <laughs> But, I keep coming back for more, for some reason. But it sounded clean. It's probably just clad. Let's see what we can find here. It was around iron also. So I always like to investigate those a little bit. Yep, I get it. Yep. Yeah, I did get it. Okay. Oh, shit. Well, it's a wee penny. I knew there was a reason why I wanted to try and investigate that a little bit. And I'll give you a shot of it here. Uh, it's not gonna do any good, but sometimes it just buffs up the date a little bit, so it makes it a little bit shinier. Readable. Okay, that is a 19. From what I can tell, 1947. 1947 wheat penny. I think that's wheat penny number three for today. Okay, that's it for me today. I'm done. So. There's a lot of work just digging those few targets that I did. Well, probably dug about, I should say a few, probably dug about 15 targets, but I'm done for today. And I'll just give you a good view of everything in this park. I'm gonna finish up for now. Okay, I'm gonna do a wrap up of everything I found at the park today. Found quite a bit of quarters, dimes, pennies, and uh, three wheat pennies. And then that one weird token that I found. It says, uh, play money. And also on it here is this Uncle Sam play dime, 1950. So that's from 1950. Play money. I never, I never even seen those tokens before. I've never dug those up before, so that's a first for me. And then we have 19, 1959 wheat penny. I'll show you the back of it. Uh, 1944 wheat penny. Good condition. And the 19, oops, this one again. This is 1947 wheat penny. This one I actually accidentally uh, scraped it a little bit, massacred it a little bit, but that's not too bad. It's just a wheat penny. I'm glad it wasn't a silver coin, but yeah, and then a trash pull tab, screw cap. Aluminum foil, that rusty nail I dug up. But yeah, it's just everything that we have here. And uh, I'll see you on the next park hunt. Hopefully we'll get to the beach here real soon. Okay, talk to you later, bye.